Savage Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a nice chicken soup since it's so cold outside. These are all the seasonings that I use, everything to incorporate with. And I'm going to go over everything with you. First of all, you're going to need you a big pot starting to boil. And then I'm going to set up the camera right now. Be right back. You get your chicken. You use whatever type of chicken you want. Basically, I'm using tenderloins. You're going to toss all your chicken in. Boom. And then you're going to get your chicken broth. Pour your chicken broth in. It's automatically going to get a natural broth. The chicken broth in the can or whatever one is fine, but you don't have to use it. Alright, so that's that. Got your Creole seasoning. And don't worry about using a whole bunch of seasonings. You're going to add a little more of these, whatever one you feel it needs to when the soup is almost ready. That's when you come to this. All right, got your onion powder. Told me not to say where you were, and I did what you asked. Mm. Got your garlic powder. You don't need that much garlic powder because you got the minced garlic going to be going in. This is just for a little added spice, Nashville. Got your cayenne pepper. Black pepper. Tapatio. Is it what you wanted? Was it just too late to get away? Then you got your minced garlic. So I used two. And then now all we need is the seasoning salt. All right, so now chicken should be about done. You're going to take them out. Ooh, it's a little hot. You're going to take them out, chop them up a little bit better because these are too big of chunks. And then you're also going to make a pot of rice on the side. Make however style rice you want. But I'd say a chicken flavored rice would be probably the best. But I'm going to take this chicken out and I'll be right back. Alright, so like I said, the chicken's been cooking for about 30 minutes now. And it's done. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your knife. And dice it. Don't dice it too small because it's already going to just rip apart since it was boiled chicken. It's more like a shred kind of. Um, so you got your chicken. You're just going to toss it into your juice. Mix it in. Boom. I've already chopped a lot of it up as well. So you dice that all up. That takes care of the meat part. And like I said, you got to make a rice for this as well. And then I'm using a blend of vegetables. Toss all that in there. It's got cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. Mix that all in there. And we're going to let this cook for about, eh, let me scoot this up for you guys so you guys can fully see. Alright. There we go. So, nice little blend. Like I said, we got to let it cook for about 30 minutes. More. But what you're going to do is, while we're waiting on that process, you're going to add cream of chicken. Grab a spoon. Put that in there, and it's going to go in pretty thick at first, but you want to try to use all of it because this is what gives it that nice, good color. And then you're going to mix it in. I've got two of them. And then you're going to mix it in. I'll be right back with you guys. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I forgot you guys are going to be adding some of this. I'm very generous with this. This makes it taste amazing. All right, so we're going to let this boil for another 20 to 30 minutes, and then we're going to add the rice to everything. Actually, add a little bit more of this before we go. All right, guys, I'll be back with you guys once this boils up a little bit. Guys, so as you guys can see, all the soup is all done. It's been boiling for about 45 minutes. You basically just take out a carrot or two, cut it, and if it chops right up, you're good to go. Get some of that off the way real quick. And then you got to some rice that's already cooked. You don't add the rice first because if you do, it'll just get stuck to the bottom and burn. And that you don't want. So you just pop your rice in. And then you're going to break it all down. Once you break your rice down, I use... Once you break all the rice down, just kind of mix it all in, something big like a big spatula or something. Alright, right, here you go. So, we're going to scoop this, just to show you everything that's in it. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, rice. All right, so we're gonna let this boil for about five minutes. Make sure you're stirring constantly. And as you stir, it'll cook in that flavor to the rice. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes. Show you guys what it looks like. And if you need any more flavor, you can add any of the seasonings more, but I've already taste tested mine and everything tastes great. All the veggies are nice and cooked through. I would have added a little bit more of the cream of chicken in there, but I ran out. But that's totally optional. It still tastes amazing. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe to all my current subscribers. Thank you for watching, as always. And if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section. I'll get back to them whenever I can. Other than that, you guys have a good one, and thanks for watching Savage Kitchen. Oh, yeah. That's how it goes down in Savage Kitchen. Tasty soup.